Hello Hawks, Miss Cunningham here, and I'm back with another special read aloud. And today I want to talk to you about series. A series of a book means it is by the same author and it has the same characters and we get to see those characters on lots of different adventures. And sometimes we even follow those characters as they grow up and as they get older and maybe even change grades at school um, or even their family changes. Some of your favorite series might be Pete the Cat or Piggy and Elephant or the Pigeon series. Um, and then for our chapter book friends, we have I Survived or we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid where we follow Greg or Weird School and then we follow that into Weirder School by Dan Gutman. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a series that's very popular at my house and that is Click Clack Moo. And they are all by the author Doreen Cronin. So, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Click Clack Surprise is about a birthday story. Click Clack Quackity Quack is an alphabet one. And then Duck for Present. Now this one's a little different because even though it is not the same title um, and as the others, it does have the same author and also it has some of the same characters, so it's still part of the series. So we're gonna read one of my family's favorite today, that is Click Clack Surprise, and I hope that you can find a series that you love to read with your family as well. Happy reading! Click Clack Surprise by Doreen Cronin. Click Clack Surprise, oh look! The party truck is showing up for the party. There's the farmer. We see him in all the stories in this series. He's putting on his apron. Click, clack, surprise! It is a very big day on the farm. A cake is baking. Streamers are streaming. Mice are floating past the window. The invitations have been delivered. You are invited to Little Duck's birthday party under the maple tree. tree. Cake, games, prizes. Pin the tail on the donkey. Canceled by donkey. Duck, duck, goose. Canceled by a goose. Steal the bacon. Canceled by anonymous request. Everybody wanted to look their best for Little Duck's party. Duck took a long hot bubble bath to look his best. He rub-a-dubs, rub-a-dubs, rub-a-dubs clean and walks on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then rub-a-dubs too. Oh, he's taking a bath. The sheep need a trim to look their best. They snippity-clip, snippity-clip, snippity-clip clean and walk on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then snippity clips too. Uh oh, you guys, I have to tell you one time when I was little, I tried to cut my own hair. It did not go well. The cat wants to look her best. She slurp alerts, slurp alerts, slurp alerts clean and walks on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then slurp alerts too. Ew, that does not sound good to me. The chickens take a dust bath to look their best. They shimmy shake, shimmy shake, shimmy shake clean and walk on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then shimmy shakes too. Hmm, he doesn't look all clean to me. The pigs need a mud bath to feel their best. They squish and squash, squish and squash, squish and squash clean and walk on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then squishes and squashes too. Uh-oh. The cows like themselves just the way they are. No rubber dubbing no snippity-clipping, no slurp-a-lurping, no shimmy-shaking, no squish and squashing. They walk on over to the maple tree. Farmer Ben frosts the cake, lights the candles, puts on his best hat, and walks on over to the maple tree. What I love about this is look closely at the cake. Do you know what that's a picture of on top? I bet you do. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Oh, look, everybody's got their party hats on. Ew! A birthday surprise for everyone under the maple tree. <laughs> Do you see how the farmer's holding him? And look at the look on everyone's face. Hope you enjoyed that story, and more importantly, I hope you find other stories to enjoy by yourselves or with your family this week. Happy reading!